<laughs> but baby, let's practice this back up. Baby, put it back in the swing. When it there, a little better when it's soft, but this thing not gonna close. But baby, Cause you didn't, didn't pack it right. Didn't pack it right. You know what I'm saying? Didn't pack it right. That's how easy it is. Right. Miss, you're the one packing it, not oh, me. Oh, you don't want that. You don't want that. No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're going to use a spatula to open it? Yeah, why not? Right there! I don't open easy. Hmm. Amazon don't make that open easy. Nice. Let's do <laughs> I'm just gonna pack this stuff big. Yeah. Ooh, yes. I wanna taste it. Can I stick my finger in? Of course. Wait, that's not doing a good job. Oh, you gotta lick it first. I'm not gonna stick a lick finger in seasoning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it's different. Wow. <laughs> Babe, we could do a thumbnail with this, can we? <laughs> Oh, and then I'm going to... Oh, all right. <laughs> okay. And then we got to reset that camera. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well... We don't need time to practice. My favorite um, ones that look like this, the cheese puff things, or well, these are cheese curls, is uh, what was it? Uh, yeah, oh, the cheese doodles. Those are my favorite cheese doodles. Those are my, my favorite ones that's like this. Let me see now. Let's see if Uts can take that away from me. A snack is a snack. You a snack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to stand by the corner and sell you though. This potato chip. This <laughs> <laughs> is good. Oh yeah, what's up? Yeah, but they make a lot of they make a lot of different what are you doing? That's the original. We don't need to try that. Yeah, we need to try that. <laughs> you want to try the pretzels too? Yeah. Mmm, <laughs> these barbecues. I'm surprised they didn't have like the crab flavor ones. You just said you want. Now, you know, they like they don't have no salt, right? Yeah, that's salt. You don't take a lot of salt, it's not that much. Though. It makes it like so fresh, like when it's like too much salt, like you're like, oh, I need water. Water. Babe, I think that's because you, you have high salt capacity. I have yeah, salt 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 salt. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, salt tolerance. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got double. Your tolerance to salt is on fleek. Mm. D40. Where are you going? Mm. Alright, you're going to do mine too. A minute? 
painting on my waffles. Down here, I'll crispy these been, waffles. She's been living on my waffles. <laughs> 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 But we just don't have them in the toaster oven that long. No, yeah, no. I'm gonna try to keep it warm and I probably toasted it. Mm-hmm. Over toasted. Over toasted. Over toasted. Alright, it's not bad. Mm. I wouldn't be switching over though. Switching over? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's not like ew gross. It's like a cross between molasses mixed with syrup. Molasses? Mm hmm. Mixed with syrup. Mm hmm. This didn't come with like a little thing to squeeze out the, the hook. Mm hmm. <laughs> no. They try to make it. That pure. Yeah, so he was saying it didn't come with like a squeeze, so you can squeeze it. Mm -mm, you're gonna take that whole top off. Mm -hmm. I bet you if it came with one of them, I bet you it probably gets clogged up in there. You know how sometimes syrup can dry? Mm -hmm. Cause it's so thick. Alright, let me see what Rochelle had to say about what she sent me. Alright. So about the cookies, it says the cookie company began with the snickerdoodle in 1979. And this was the most popular cookie by far, the old time recipe perfected by the great cookie. The bakery soon became one of the hottest snack shops down the ocean. Within months, the new location opened in the busiest malls in Baltimore metropolitan area. All right, so the history about Old Bay. Everything you never knew about Old Bay seasoning, plus how to use it beyond blue crabs. Mm -hmm. See that? You never seen that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Old yeah, Bay. Right, yeah. Now, I didn't know that Old they Bay was come, um, Baltimore. Yeah, they come like the Sasson looking like. Or like, yeah. like, like, no, the complete comes, season. It comes like that. Let me see. In the can, right? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I've seen that. All right. So if you grew up in certain silver, in the, if you grew up in a certain sliver of America near the Chesapeake Bay, Old Bay was a holy nectar. It was applied to chicken, shrimp, fish, and of course crabs. But the story behind the East Coast taste is somewhat murky. So a savior story from 2002 claims that the blend is the brainchild of a German immigrant. Gustav Brun, who loved his spice grinder to the United States in the late 30s and settled in Baltimore. See, I didn't know that. I didn't know Obey was a Baltimore company. Eventually, the industrious immigrant managed to convince local cooks to use the season, and before long, he was successful. Part of Obey's charm lies in the success that the brand has found without much marketing. Its popularity is largely word of mouth, and that gives it an appeal, an illusion, and a local secret. Okay? McCormick pointed out to Chow Hound that Obey never produced a television advertisement until, two, two, until 2014, but the brand had spread rapidly in 2017. Roughly 8.5 million of those iconic blue and red and yellow cans were sold. Mm. It's so funny because with Obey, it's like anybody who does seafood knows that you got to have Obey. Like I have Obey in my spice cabinet mm. and I don't even cook. I didn't even know about it, but that little can looks familiar. Yeah, Lowry's and Obey. Is like he, how could you not? You can make the crabs like that? Babe, you know I can't. I don't look that hard. Oh, look, it said... Bloody Mary? No, Alki. Oh. You can use it in deviled eggs. What? Oh. 
French fries, that's true. We seen oh, yeah, that. Yeah, 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 we seen that. That's how they do the party, the checkers. Probably. Not the, checkers, not um, that one. Mm -mm. What, TJ Friday? Red Robin. Red Robin? Red Robin will have mm. more of that um, salty yeah. red seasoning on it. Corn on the car. All right, man. Yeah, that's what you... That's what they want, pop some popcorn? <laughs> oh, no, we got popcorn. We got pop. Oh, my goodness. We are not about to put some Obey on that. Is it any type of popcorn? Maybe regular popcorn. That popcorn already. Okay, do, do your thing. Do your thing. Do your thing while I read about Uts potatoes. Can you bring it closer? Let's bring y'all closer. Uts. How Uts became Baltimore's favorite chip. Spiced it up. He sure did. Hit me. The spice hit me. <clears throat> Some old bay. Oh, yeah. It says, Uts play to the regional customers of Baltimore, creating crab chips flavored with Chesapeake Bay crab <laughs> seasoning that are to die for. That's what I thought was going to be in that box, too, because I knew that they had like a crab, uh, crab flavored mm. chip. And last but not least, the history of King Sarah. What to put on your pancakes in Maryland? I think about it every time I make pancakes, but I don't think I've tasted it in 20 years. No matter, I still remember the taste of King Syrup on pancakes with sausage served by my grandmother. Dang. They made me want to make some pancakes and, and syrup. I mean, in sausage. Sausage. <laughs> King syrup is a mid-Atlantic combination of corn and sugar syrups created by the Mangels, Mango Herald Company in Baltimore in 1901. Would you ever put Cairo syrup on your pancakes? No way. But King syrup is different. At my parents' house in Westminster, Maryland, we ate Log Cabin and Mrs. Buttersworth. Somehow more more modern in the taste than the king syrup we ate at and hot cakes at mom mom and pop pops oh yeah it does say like you see that king um molasses i knew it had like a molasses type feel to it mm -hmm. and why don't you use your obey season on so you know i know i party taste this before but these new days you know yeah you put whatever but this is gonna be going to something. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're making crabs in this house. Well in this cave. <laughs> oh, did we ask them? Oh. Babe. Yeah, babe, you dirty. Whatever, you got like potato chip crab. You know, I got seasoned, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all see. And thumbs up and all that jazz. Alright, please. <laughs> I can't get you out of my mind. It's like I feel it for the first time. Been thinking about you all night. I've been searching for this all my life. You're just my type.